all the talk, all the hype. Now the fight. Round one scheduled for 10. Teddy, we got a matchup here tonight of a guy who can bang against a guy who likes to stay away, likes to fight at range. Where do the advantages lie? Well, an old-time trainer used to tell me this story. If you have power, you know what? It has no military value unless you have a way to get it to the target. It's like a bomb. It'll just blow up, make a big hole in the ground, and when it rains, it's going to fill up. You go swimming. Oh, well, if I'm the power guy, I better find a way to get inside and deliver that bomb. Everybody knows Vladimir Klitschko wants to do that right there. The jab, the straight, typically the win. Vladimir Klitschko putting his punches together and scoring with them. Vladimir has a real knack for being accurate in a combination. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Scored well with that right hand to the body. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Vladimir Klitschko. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. And now he's targeting upstairs. Hands up. Hands up. How about that left hand? Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. And now the right hand lands because of the work done by the jab. To the head he goes with a left hand. A good head shot. Vladimir Klitschko, 60 seconds to recover. Hopefully will be enough for him. Now he's got good cornermen. He's got the right people in place to try to fix this situation. Yeah, and they got to work like a pit stop, you know, in the Indianapolis 500. One guy's giving the gas, another guy's changing the tires, you know, another guy's maybe giving the driver a little water. They got to do the same thing. Give him some water, refresh him a little bit, work his legs a little bit, and then just before he goes out, a little advice. As soon as you feel ropes, move out. There you go. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's something to him. And the only way that you find the medal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. Not able to land the headshot. Boom, left hand comes home. Wow! On the mark. Beautifully shot, straight punch right on the mark. Like an arrow, and not shot by Cupid. Punch. One, two, three. Big Isaac Frost. What will he do now? Rising up after being knocked down. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. And yet another big shot comes in. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is where Isaac Frost makes it a short evening. Frost on the attack after knocking down his opponent. Now hugging on the inside. Halfway through round number two. Vladimir Klitschko still shaking after feeling that uppercut. Great counterpunch, and I love how he moved off to the side and then landed it. Vladimir Klitschko's hurt. Can you believe this? This round is absolutely outrageous. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there. Right now, he's doing things without thinking, naturally. Good combination to the head. Showing you some defense there with the block. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? 
How about that? What a round we just saw. Both men were able to get to the other. Both men seemingly hurt in that round. And the kind of round where a judge really has to do his job. Everyone else does their job. Trainers, managers, we're trying to do ours. But now, it's up to the judges to really look at that and find where they can separate the two fighters. Stay on the outside! And there it is, coming with the jab by Vladimir Klitschko. That right hand over the top lands flush. Frost going out there after just being knocked down in the last round. If you're standing opposite him, what's the mentality? What's the strategy here? Well, you want to go after him, but you don't want to walk into a trap either. You want to kind of size him up a little bit. You want to see if he looks like he's okay, but at the same time, keep in your mind that he might be trying to cut. You. you know you hurt him, so put that pressure on, but do it smart. He thinks of himself as a home run hitter, Teddy, but he's been striking out tonight. And he looks like a pitcher who's lost complete sight of the catcher's mitt. I mean, he cannot throw a strike. Wow, what a right hand he just got caught by, and he's looking to tie up. Vladimir Klitschko scoring with that right hand. Accurate with a straight left. Double jab by Vladimir. Big, big shot he just scored with. Can he beat the counts? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. The ref stops the fight. Vladimir Klitschko's gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. It may have been scheduled to go longer, but he just rescheduled it. Done. Over. Fiend. Knockout victory. This matches up with any of the great punches throughout this sport. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.